Hey, how you doing? I'm USMC Doc 1 4. Those of you who've watched my videos before, uh, thank you for watching. If you're new, thanks for being a new viewer. Uh, today, because it's snowing outside, I'm doing a couple little rants. If you haven't watched my videos before, I do utilize some colorful vocabulary, so if you're easily offended, I apologize now. Uh, what this rant is about is this new, completely bullshit fucking law, waste of fucking taxpayer money uh, introduction that's going through right now. What that is is it's uh, HR 378, labeled the Responsible Body Armor Possession uh, Act, which, uh, which if enacted, would um, <laughs> it would deprive law-abiding law citizens of owning body armor. Okay, now, this is an absolutely moronic friggin' <laughs> proposition, okay? This is, this, is how your, this is what your representatives who need to be smacked around do for a living, okay? This is a waste of your money and this is a waste of government time completely, okay? Now, to the average citizen moron, okay, they're gonna be, oh my god, body armor, we should, we should regulate that shit because criminals utilize body armor, okay? First off, let's cover some basic things, okay? I am wearing a set of body armor, okay? I own a few sets of body armor. Actually, this is the set of body armor I run in. Don't ask, anyway. This right here is, you know, ceramic plates, Kevlar body armor. It is a defensive tool. End of story. This is not an offensive tool. I am not gonna go out there and try to run around and fucking kick some ass wearing this by itself, okay? It's, it is to protect me. It is to protect me from getting hit with a bullet, protect me from getting hit with shrapnel, whatever. It is a defensive item only, okay? So basically, you wanna ban a defensive item. That's it, I can't go on the offensive with body armor unless I like take it off and smack you upside the head with it or some shit, okay? But now, with this bullshit bill goes through, basically, it makes me a fucking criminal. It makes everybody who owns this a criminal, okay? <laughs> Unless, of course, you're law enforcement or you're a political affiliate, which I kind of find fucking amusing. So if you're a politician, you can own body armor. But if you're an average person, fuck you. Now, okay, of course, they, there's, oh, we're going to get in specifics. What they're saying is they want to regulate anything above class three, okay? This is definitely above class three. So let me take this one. Class three body armor. Okay, it's a standard issue for most security personnel, cops, average person who doesn't want to get fucking shot. Okay, a lot of people own these. Okay, especially in civil unrest situations such as Katrina, Ferguson, shit like that, where basically I want to get the fuck out of town and I don't want to get my happy ass shot while I'm trying to do it. That's what the purpose of this is. It's a defensive tool. Now. This would still be illegal. I started. This would still be legal under this this bullshit act. Okay. Now, on the other hand, this is a book. Okay, class three body armor book. This now exceeds class three body armor. This would be illegal. Yeah, I know it's kind of stretching it, but when have you not seen laws like this not get stretched? Okay, so. Legal, illegal, legal, illegal. Oh wait, hold on a minute. So, there I am, okay, doing security, whatever, or say some stupid bullshit riots go on, I got my body armor on underneath my shirt, okay, and then I go and I take my cell phone, okay, and I stick it in my pocket. Um, that exceeds class three body armor. That's illegal. It, as minuscule as it is, it exceeds it. I'm terribly sorry. It's just like what the ATF considers a suppressor. A suppressor will, if it lowers the decibel by any measurable amount, even if it only does it once, is still a suppressor. So there's really not that far of a stretch to say that you with body armor and a cell phone is now greater than class three, because in reality, it is. Wait a minute now. Oh, well, we don't, I don't do security stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what about all those parents who bought their kids ballistic paneled backpacks, okay? 
Now, a lot of people made fun of them. I personally, I don't, I don't see a problem with it. If you wanted to go to that extra step and spend that extra money for your kid and get him a backpack with a ballistic panel in it, good on you, okay? It, who the fuck knows? It just might save their life. I mean, but they, they may develop some scoliosis or shit from carrying around that extra weight, but whatever. Anyway, so you got a kid, you know, a nine-year-old, whatever, with a backpack with a ballistic panel in it, and their school books. That's greater than class three. Your child is now a criminal. Or you are now a criminal for making your child a criminal. Because, yeah. Now, the reality of th it's, it's just fucking hilarious, people. Okay? They're, they're wasting your money. They're wasting your time. But I want to introduce a, introducing a, a regulation and a control on body armor. Okay? Like, it's a defensive thing. Not only that, but now you get into the ridiculous things of what's next, okay? Are, are you going to start regulating plates of steel? Okay, first body armor plate was plates of steel. I can go out and buy AR-500 uh, AR steel plates. That's body armor. That exceeds class three. Is that all of a sudden fucking illegal? Okay. Fucking retardedness. Anyway, contact your congressman, okay? Have them think, you know, tell them that this is a worthless waste of time, that all you are doing is hurting law-abiding citizens, and all you're doing is hurting people who want to protect themselves. And for those of you who think, oh, I will never be, need body armor, um, why don't you look at all the people who are, you know, accidentally shot uh, during all these mass riots, okay? And if you wanted to get yourself or your family, you know, off the X, uh, because... You know, a bunch of fucking mouth breathers decided they wanted to, you know, rob a Zales. I I'm pretty sure you'd, you'd want to wear, you know, some body armor. And actually, I'm pretty sure that you'd want the ability to go out and buy it. So, once again, contact your, you know, contact your representatives. Tell them to stop with this bullshit waste of time laws and actually, you know, go and create some bills that make sense. Anyway, USMC Doc 1-4, thank you guys for watching.